I have a Pilates total body conditioning class, one hour, no equipment needed, just a comfortable mat, maybe a towel and some water. We usually get a little bit sweaty. I like to keep my classes very active. Don't forget the Pilates breath is the forced exhale. As you engage those core muscles, draw the belly towards the spine. And then we're also trying to lengthen and activate the muscles. So we are creating our own tension through the exercises rather than just being kind of loose and soft. All right, we're gonna be strong, powerful, and use that breath. Let's get started. Just start standing with our feet under our hips, stacking our joints, pulling the belly in, and then just gently tucking the tailbone under so we find a neutral pelvis and spine. Let the hands hang, give them a little shake. Pop up the shoulders, bounce them, just letting go of any tension in the body. Maybe you didn't even know you were feeling a little tension in the neck, shoulders, low back, normal. Especially these days, a lot of things to be tense about. <laughs> Circling, gazing right and left. Good, and then finding some stillness. Engage the quads, again, finding that neutral spine and pelvis. Close the eyes for a moment, release the tension in the face, no frowns, maybe even a little smile. Deep breath in, big sigh out. Again, deep breath in, big sigh out. That was my cat. <laughs> if you wanna play music in the background, I highly encourage it. I'm gonna keep it quiet today so you, you can hear my cueing. Big breath in and out. All right, let's take the arms up over the head. And then again, we'll start that bounce, just bending into the knees, sitting into the heels, kind of just letting the body move, getting the lymphatic system moving. You can get a little bit weird. Move, pull the arms down, and then just kind of sway side to side. <laughs> Let the hips and arms raise and bend. Take it into arm overhead mountain, gaze up, palms to heart center, and then swim the arms behind the back. Lift as high as you can with that neutral pelvis. Good, lift, and then see if you can bind the hands behind the back. Let's open the chest and heart, squeeze shoulder blades together. I promise this isn't yoga, even though it's starting a little bit like that. Sway from side to side. Circle, although there are a lot of similarities in yoga and Pilates, it's a little bit different as we focus on the core. Good, swing those arms back a few times. Good, lubricating the shoulder joint. And circles with the elbows, reverse. Natural breath. Good, and then let's do the hip circles here. Circle, circle the hips. Good, internal, external rotation. Internal, external, a few more times. Arms can come out to the sides. Take it in, out. Take it in and out. A little less of a circle. Now in, out, down, in, out. Two more. Squeeze the core. Feel the hip flexors warming up. Good. And then reverse that. Out, in, drop. Exterior rotation, internal rotation. Good. So we have external, internal, drop. External, internal, drop, one more time. Out, in, lower, out, little tree, and then internal rotation, and then drop. And then again, just shake it all around and take some nice deep breaths. We're gonna circle the right foot and just balance on the left foot. So sweep it around, or if you're mirroring me, doesn't matter which leg, just take these little circles. Imagining you're making a circle in the sand. So we're starting to wake up the core and just find some balance. Hands are really whatever you want to do with them. Sweep it around. A lot of strength from the left quad and the core. Good for balance. Circle it around and then find this shiva connection of the back knee into the front knee. Little hamstring curl for eight, seven, belly in. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, lower down, eight, seven, six, flat back, five, pull the belly in, four, three, two, one, back to the balance, and then set it down. Circle sweeps, like you're making 
a circle in the sand. Try to find balance. It's okay to fall out of things. Good. Sweep it around. Sweep it around for four, three, circle in the sand, two, ooh, and one. Swing it around and then connect the back knee into the front knee. Now you have these little hamstring curls. Hug the heel towards the bum for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, drop flat back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Connect the back heel in, extension, expansion through the heart, and set it down. Taking this little skater move, side, open, side, open. Nice work. Flat back, see if you can touch the ground. <sighs> Wide, take it down. Open, take it down. So we're waking up the big muscle group of the legs. Engaging the core this whole time, and then we'll go down to mat exercises. Let's do four, tap, three, two, good, and one. Hold it here, and then open the knees for a plie, a wide sumo legs. Pull the knees gently apart. Let the shoulders raise up towards the ears, and then push them down. Sink a little bit, and then actively press the shoulders down. Sink push away. Now hold this hovering position, squeeze the abdominals in, pull the hands behind the head, little baby twist, Pilates breath. Exhale, sit as deep as you can manage, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, side bend, same side, four, three, two, sit deep, one, switch sides, four, three, two, one, alternate, eight, seven, six, five, four, we got this, three, two, you feel in those obliques, one, straighten the legs, heel, toe, narrow, all right, I'm going to do a little combination of a squat into a plie, if you feel comfortable jumping, let's try it, touch down, squat, plie, Squat, open. So it's a chair to a goddess. If you do yoga, booty back in your chair. <sighs> Tuck the hips under, pelvis forward, booty back. Squeeze it under. Four, heart rate's gonna climb. <sighs> Three, those legs are gonna feel it. <laughs> Pull the belly in. <sighs> One more time, you can do it. Down, open. Flat back, halfway fold. Hold it right here. Now, engage the triceps, pull the belly in. You can have soft knees here, or they can be pretty straight if that feels safe in your body. And then use the triceps like you're trying to serve something over behind the back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop to a fold. Shake the head, sway the hips, sway the neck. Let everything go. All right. Ragdoll yourself up, four, three, two, one. We'll do a little series of lunges, and then we'll start to bring it down. Stand tall. So first we're gonna take this hamstring curl, balancing here, and then we're gonna take it to a knee to elbow. Hamstring curl, knees to elbow, or knee to elbows. Hug the heel in, tap the knee. Hug back, press forward. Four, three, two, on one leg balance. Really forces you to use the core. And then down, tap. Seven, six, little bicep curl. Five, knee to elbow. Four, we got this. Three, two, stay down on one. Hold it here. Pop the front heel up, bounce eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand tall. Shake out those legs. Let's do the other side. Hamstring curl. So this looks like not a big deal, right? But if you're hugging the heel in, you're going to feel the hamstring big time. It might even start to cramp. Hug the heel in, and then tap the knees. 
back and four, eight. Make sure you're squeezing the hamstring, heel towards butt, and then belly plugs in. Six, five, four, three, we got this. Hamstring curl to knee lift, two, and one. Now, knee here. So lunge to knee balance. Eight, seven, strong arms like you're pushing through water. Six, shoulders over hips. Five, make 90 degree knees. Four, three, two, engage the core to lift, to connect elbow to knee. And one, stay down. Good, pop up the front heel, bounce. Eight, seven, highest heel, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, downward facing dog. Pedal, relax the neck. Make circles in the hips, like you're doing a hula hoop. Circle to the right, four, three, two, and one, and pause, and then start to gear up to the left. Like you're doing a hula hoop, make a complete circle. You're using the core. Four, three, circle, grip the mat with the fingertips, spread them wide. Two, circle one. All right, come down to the knees. Take a quick stretch back onto the heels. Big breath in, big side out. Come up onto all fours. All right, we're gonna take a hovering table. Take the toes under, it's a really great stretch for the, the feet as well. So we'll start by, again, spread your fingers. Index finger forward, wrap the crease of the elbows forward, triceps wrap in, shoulders protract down. Hover, bounce, eight, seven, six, plug the belly in, four, three, two, one, now. Walk the feet closer together. Knees glue in. Eight, seven, shoulder tap. Six, belly tight. Good, keep going. Exhale. Four, oh, try not to tilt. Three, like I just did. Two, and one. Now swivel. Knees 45. Knees 45. Grip into the mat. Grip down for four, three, twist out, ring out those obliques, two, one, rest. Come down, circle the wrists, take a moment. The next time we do that set, we're gonna add a little pop-up of the hand on the swiveling knees. Knees touch, tuck the toes under, hovering table. Bounce, eight, seven, six, five, that low pit of the belly is plugging in, two, one, shoulder tap, four, three, two, one, swivel, lift the hand now. Swivel. Try and keep the arms straight and long. Just swivel, heels down. Rest back, we'll do that one more time. I guess maybe you take a little counter stretch on the wrist this time. Big breath in and out. And spread the fingers, push the shoulders down, crease the elbows forward. Knees glued, inner thighs on, tuck the toes and bounce. Four, three, two. One tap, four, three, two, swivel. Let's do eight of these. Eight, seven, six, five, four. It's okay if you have to adjust your feet a little. Three, two, twist, hover, release. Take it down to the forearms and circle the wrists. Open, close the fingers. Good, strengthening into the forearms, relaxing the wrists with a little twisting shake. All right, so let's take tabletop again. This time we'll take the leg out and we're gonna work laterally so I don't have a whole lot of space, but essentially we're gonna go side as far as you can tap. You might tap all the way up in front of the right pinky finger and then lateral into a twist as far as you can, turning on the inner thighs, the adductors. Abductors, this will be your own range of motion. And inner thigh, twist. So you could come up to neutral and then tap down. Come up, 
hip height, twist back. Hopefully you have a little more space than I do. Push the shoulders down, kind of puff up through the back of the heart so you can hover this. It's a hard shape to make. Sweep it back. Here's three. Here's two. Squeeze it back. Here's one. Swing it back. Hold it there. Now like you're kicking the inner thigh in that diagonal for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower to the left forearm. Grab the right wrist. Take your donkey and pulse eight times here. And then we'll do the lateral movement one more time. Squeeze the belly in. Push the shoulders down. Touch your shoulder or elbow. And then open up. Think of like you're making this little half moon shape, stacking hips and shoulders. Seven, six, five. Feel the gluteus medius, outer edges of the glutes. Pull the belly in, shoulders of core working. Four, three, two, one. Last thing, keep the open hip. Eight, seven, bring your toes to your heels. Six, five, grip them out with the right fingers. Four, three, smile, two, and one. Bring the hips down. Take a child's pose. Circle out the right wrist if you need to. Blink the fingers. Swivel the hips from side to side. We'll do the series on the left. I'm going to flip so I don't hit the window here. Come onto tabletop. Extend the right leg. Push the shoulders down. We'll start with this little donkey lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we'll extend and take your outer thigh oblique tap as far as you can reach hover and then into inner thigh twist feel your inner thigh go as far diagonal as you can go bring it across so big move your range of motion doesn't have to look like mine but we're going to work as hard as we can here <sighs> mindfully moving through water <sighs> twist Bring it up and around. Remember to round and protract the shoulders to create a little more space for the toes. Sweep, tap, sweep, tap, sweep, tap and hover. Bring it around, looks so simple. Definitely not an easy move to hold this position and then hold it here. Now adductor, keep twisting. Eight, feel that your inner thigh twist across the back of the leg. Belly pulls in, shoulders press down for three, two, one. All right, come back, lower left elbow. Oh, let's actually, right elbow, grab your left wrist. So I'll open to you. And then we're gonna take this leg and take knee in. Swing back to that half moon shape, stacking the hips and shoulders as much as you can. So back to lateral. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Like you're moving through water, tap this shoulder as high as you can get up the arm. Think core compression. Twist it open, tap it in. You gotta squeeze the belly. <sighs> exhale, pull it out, pull it in and sweep it back. All right, now big toe touches back of the heel. Eight, seven, six, five, knee wide, four, exhale, three, two, hold it up on one, squeeze. Nice work, bring it down, take the hip up, and then lower down. Child's pose. Swivel those hips a little bit from side to side. We're going to come up onto the knees. We'll do a little series kneeling. We have something fun on the belly, and we'll just move through our different shapes. Okay, come onto the top of the knees. Take your hands behind your head. Squeeze the belly in as you take a forward fold. Take some balance, and you'll go as low as you can. If you can compress the belly to the thighs and tap the nose, awesome. Thrust forward. All right, just that move to begin. Slow, mindful, elbows wide, 
Feel these compressed thighs, knee taps floor, uh, mat, nose taps mat. Take it down. I said bellies, you only have one belly. Belly to thighs, nose to mat, drive up. Slowly squeeze the belly in, lower, lower, lower. You just go in your range. Now the second part of the move is the hip hinge. Tap, reach back and forward. See if you can get 45 degrees, you'll squeeze the glutes. You'll send the hips and pelvis forward. You'll feel the quads and hip flexors and core. Take the weight. Now you could reach back for the floor. Come in. Reach back for the floor. Come back to neutral each time though. Tap back. Squeeze up. Gives you something to reach for. Squeeze up. All right? Shake it out. Come down to kneeling. Just in between the set, we'll just kind of shift our hips off, pull our hips on, shift our hips off, drive them back in, over, come back on top, set it over, and then sit on those heels. Okay, so one of each this time. Hopefully you have some, uh, like I said, a little bit more cushion on the knees. If it doesn't feel comfortable, set up a pillow or blanket. Deep breath in, here we go. Half hip hinge forward, and then hip hinge back. You can reach one hand back, and then the next one, you'll reach the other hand back. Fold, thrust, hinge, lift. Fold, thrust, hinge, squeeze it up. Forward fold, take some balance here. Exhale up. One more set on each side. You can do it. Engage the core. Keep the elbows wide. Lift. Tap down. Drive in. Forward fold. Squeeze it up. Hip hinge. Drive up. Little twist. In double breaths. We have four more. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Let the hands fall. Sit back on the heels again. And we're going to bring it down to our bellies. So to get to the belly, we're going to use a little bit of upper body strength to snake ourselves down. Okay, so we'll come to extended child's pose. The elbows will we'll hover. So take that weight. Let's just try that move for a few. Shoulders over fingers, hovering elbows. Shoulders over fingers, hover, lift, hover. You feel the triceps? Lift, hover. Now hover, snake, nose to mat, lift, nose to mat, lift, hover, nose to mat, lift. All right, we're adding on. Hover, nose to mat, and then slide till your belly hits the mat. Upper back strength, hold. Maybe pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Exhale, two, one. Pick up the chest. Snake back. Come back through child's pose to kneeling. Try it again. Hover, snake through, snake through. Chest, belly button lands. Upper back strength, this time back. Eight, seven, six, big toenails down. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Back, hover, sneak your way back through. Circle out the wrists. All right, the next one will stay down on the belly. Prone position, hands out, elbows hover, snake, and land. All right, we're gonna work a baby cobra. Pushing only up as high as it feels good in the back body. And you'll feel the triceps working here as you push the floor away. See what feels safe. You might stay really low if your back is feeling great. Let's go up. And slow release. Push away. Slow release. All right. Push away. Now find the spot you can maintain your own lift. Hold. Float. All right. Hands by the chest, right leg lifts. Flex the foot, pump the heel to the sky for eight 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now peel the foot and knee up. Did you end up in a sitting position? All right, so we're here. Arms up, side body stretch, pull the hips up. So neutral, we can come and lift the hip up a little bit and then stretch tall. So side body lean, drag back, exhale one more time. Side body stretch, take that weight, drive it up. Now we go back, take the hand behind the body, lift the hips, find a little side plank, make your way back as slow and controlled as possible. Did we get there? Fun move. All right, so upper body, arm strength, slow lower, nice back stretch, heart opener. And you don't have to go very high, it's really up to you. Hold this one. When you find the place you can fly, float the arms up. Oof, hands back. Lift the left leg. Flex, pulse and pump. Eight, seven, six, five. Feel the glutes, hamstrings. Good, low back. Now, peel open. Start to flip the knee until the foot lands, and then you're lifted, all right? We'll keep the left knee bent, we'll lift the arms. Side bent, maybe you can tap your wrist to your toes. <sighs> Drag up. It's really all this range of motion is whatever feels safe and comfortable in your body. Maybe a little uncomfortable, that's good too, but no pain, down, <sighs> drive it up, down, squeeze it up, challenge those edges, take it down, drive it up. Take the hand and foot in opposition, come up through a side plank, like a little wild thing. Side plank, flip back, flip back, flip back, take your time, use the strength of your upper body, and lower down, all right? We'll work through that a little quicker into a little flow. So two, baby cobra, Cobra, float back, locust. Let's lift the legs too this time. Hands down, right knee is gonna peel open, scorpion flip. Now reach over for four, straight spine, side bend, three, two, one, and we flip back slowly, hand back, find wild thing, side plank, a slow, as you want to go to the mat. Baby Cobra, lift lower, lift, float, back strength, squeeze, 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 hands down, flip, peel the left knee up, find your positioning, side bend, down, up, over, lift, two, one more time, side body, straight, slowly, arm and leg away, find your little wild thing, ever so slowly come through side plank, then through one leg plank, and then little Pilates push up to the mat. Take your energy and push the earth away, child's pose. Maybe again you blink, circle out the wrist, drop the forehead to the mat, take a deep breath in, and sigh it out. All right, we're gonna come into a side laying position from here. Pick a side to come on, and let's set ourselves up so the elbow is under the shoulder. The knees will start bent, 45 degrees, but then we're gonna extend the top leg out. So to start, we're gonna make little hip circles. Pull the belly in, the leg goes forward, and then reverse that circle. Feeling the obliques, good. Keep drawing the belly in, abductors, outer thigh muscles, good, and release. Now we're gonna to start to swing the leg back and forth. Back and forth, we got this, back. This is the first layer of the exercise. Feel free to stay with anyone. The next layer, we're gonna to start to lift the hips up 
as we swing forward. Down and back, up and lift, you got it? Down and back, you can point, flex, whatever feels good. Lower, swing the leg back, thrust the hip up, swing the leg forward. All right, you might need a little break on that outer thigh. The next layer, we're gonna pop ourselves up from elbow to hand. It takes a little bit of practice. Swing the leg back. As you swing the leg forward, push the shoulder down and pop up to the hand. Do we have that? Lower, slowly. Now swing forward, push onto the hand, push the hips up, swing forward. Lower to the hip, to the elbow, swing the leg back. Try that in one fluid motion. Back, forward. And let's take a moment to just lay on the side. I'm gonna put that together into a series. We'll do one of each. So maybe you open up the left shoulder, take a little twist, and then come back to your setup. Okay, I'm gonna go a little diagonal so I have space here. Extend the top leg. The first one, back, forward. The second one, we add the hip lift. Back, forward. The third one, we add the push up to the hand. Lift. Let's do that again. Back, forward. Back, hip thrust, lift. Back, hip thrust, and pop up to the hand. Nice work. Stay here on the hand, and then hold this shape. Make this kind of, I don't even know, this square position. <laughs> Lift, open up the heart. Feel that outer thigh. Is it burning like mine is? Lower down, and then push into the top foot, and pick up the bottom foot. Four, three, two, one. Have a seat. All right, circle out that right wrist. Maybe place the back of the hand down. Shrug the shoulders a little bit. Swing those legs to the other side. Same setup. On the elbow, shoulder over elbow. Knees 45 degrees out to your mat, but then the top leg extends. Practice these little circles. We'll go backwards, maybe eight times. Just sweep it here. Try not to move any part of the body except the leg. And then reverse the circle. Keep the breath moving. Circle. And all right. Start to move the leg back. Don't have a whole lot of space here. We're gonna move back, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings, and then forward. Swim back and forth. Yep. Yeah. Back and forth. Good, next layer, we're gonna lift the hips up. So set your elbow under your shoulder, back hip down, forward hip up, back hip down, forward hip up. The arm can lift if that helps you, or it can stay on the hip. All right, how's that outer thigh? All right, the last layer, Remember, we start with the leg back and then we have to press from the elbow to the hand. If that feels too hard, stick with the forearm down. Forward, back swing, forward pop up. Down, swing back, elbow to hand, shoulder presses down. One more time, back swing. Oh, the sun came out big time. Swing and pop up and then have a little rest. Go ahead and take it down. Twist the right shoulder open. Take some breaths here. We'll put that together in a flow. Whatever you need to do. Come back. Reset up. Elbow under shoulder. So one of each now, unless you feel like it was too hard to come up to the hand, then you can do one down, two hip thrusts up. Staying on the forearm. Okay, expand the leg. Back. Forth. Now the hip lifts. Now the hand presses. All right, that's the pattern. One on the forearm, one with the hip, one to the hand. One more time. Lower down, swing the leg forward, thrust the hip up, pop up to the hand. 
stay here. Bring the knee under, or maybe align yourself. Extend the leg out, pull the arm in opposition. You're gonna feel this outer thigh. Mine is burning. Four, three, two, one. Drop and step your foot down, and then pick up this bottom knee. Four, three, two, one. Land. Find a 90-90 or a little mini pigeon position. And then just find some ease through the hips. If you can, if you need to keep it tight, keep it tight. If you can open out the knees a little bit and then try to sit down. Depends on how the external rotation of your hips are. You can add a little assist here by gently pressing down. Ooh. And then up and over to the other side. Find some settling in the hips. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Maybe now is a good time to get a sip of water. I'm gonna do some stuff on the back, some bridge work. Okay, so we just kind of stretched out through the hips a little bit. Bring yourself to one side of the mat for some cat cow and seated. Tuck the chin around the spine, pull the shoulders in separation as you plug the belly back. Now send the heart through, squeeze shoulder blades together, maybe drop the head back if it feels safe for you. Round lean, arch chest to sky, shoulders back. Pull the heart through. So it depends on how deep you wanna go with these stretches. You can really get a nice back bend. You can even shift to grab onto your shins under the knee and really try and open up the thoracic and cervical spine here. Tuck the chin around. Now stay here in this rounded spines position and see if you can just let go and hover. Good, can we lower down a little bit more? A little bit more. Low back sacrum hits. Pulse for eight, tap your knees. Seven, exhale, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Continue to lower down, head rests. Ears side to side. Tuck the chin, keep those knees slightly bent. All right, if you need a little assist, you can grab onto the legs. If not, peel the chin forward, round. Make this C curve, C curve. Lean forward, lean forward, sit up tall. Now belly compresses into thighs. Sit up, lower down. Slow, slow, slow as you can, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring the palms down, head down, and then drive the knees to 90. Knees glued together, tap and lift. Nothing's moving. Pelvis is stabilized. Neutral spine, it looks easy but it can be quite challenging if you're doing it in that neutral pelvis. Good, squeeze, three, exhale at the top, two, one, thigh master, open, close, open, close, eight, seven, six, five, as wide and narrow as you can, three, two, one. Now, keep the knees wide, open up the hands, and see if we can just tilt, tap the bottom knee, pull back. So we're in a butterfly shape, doing our leg drops. Tap down, pull up, tap down, squeeze up, tap the knee, pull the weight back up. Two more, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale. Knees together, legs straight. Flex point, circle the ankles. We're gonna draw one leg out. The other leg meets, up, draw back. Other way, take it L, stack, L. Meet just two more, L, stack, L, Meet, over, stack and hover, lift, and drive it up. All right, 
Keep those legs up and just see if you can tap your toes for eight, seven, six, pull the belly down. Exhale each one, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind head, crisscross, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight legs, straight arms, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest it down. All right, hip thrust up in bridge, squeeze up, low boat, lift up. One bridge, exhale, inhale, low boat, exhale. Squeeze the hips up, find your low boat, squeeze the hips up, find your low boat, hold the hips in pulse, eight, seven, six. Hold it here, the next set, we're gonna do one bridge thrust into a high boat, high V shape. Bend the knees if you need to modify. All right, so one lift all the way, like a teaser up to the top. Do the best you can. Bridge, hip thrust, high V, balance. See if you can stop that energy as you pull it up. It's okay to use a little momentum, hips up, Drag it up. One bridge, squeeze. One V, tuck the chin. Press, high or low. If you need to bend the knees, that'll make it a little easier. Two more. One more, one bridge. One V, stay here. Tap the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're exhaling each one, right? One. Knees twist. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bridge down, squeeze the hips up. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay here. We're gonna swing the hips using your side of the body, side of the glutes. So engage each each side, it's gonna feel a little funky. Right, left, right, left. Like you're swinging and then hinging, thrusting one hip up, one hip up. We got that eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle to the right for four, three, big move, two, one. Use all your energy, other way. Four, three, squeeze the booty, two, lift, and one, hold it up, isometric hold. Breathe, maybe you assist it into more of a stretch for the hip flexors and quads, the heart, and then as you lower, peel the vertebrae down one at a time, hug the knees into the chest, circle the knees one way, Circle the knees the other way. All right, we're gonna add some little leg flutters and crisscross moves. Legs up. Keep the head, it gets to rest. Keep the head down. And we'll just flutter the legs here. Hollow the belly down, sacrum grounding, hands down. Four, here's three little exhales. Here's two, here's one. Now crisscross. And you can get as low as you can keep, maintain neutral spine. Four, three, two, one. Release it down. Release through the hip flexors. So we'll do four flutters, four crisscross. Make it as big a range as you can. Three, two, one. Maybe low. Four, three, two, one. Flutter. Crisscross. Squeeze the booty too. Ground the hip, the low back down. Four, three, two, one. Maybe lift. Four, three, two. On this last one, maybe you see curve the shoulders off the mat. Four, three, two, one. Scissor. Four, three, two, one. Let it go. All right, wash those feet side to side. Find a little ease again through the 
hips, hip flexors, take the arms over the head, circle, right circle, the ankles, the wrists, pull the body in opposition, big breath in, big sigh out. All right, pull those knees back into the chest. We're gonna add a little reverse curl. Give yourself space over your head when you're almost done. This will, you'll feel this in the triceps as well. So be mindful of the neck. If, you, if it bothers your neck, please don't touch the feet all the way over. If it feels great, do it. Neutral neck, gaze to the sky, push into the fingers, the elbows, the shoulders, peel the spine off the mat. Maybe your toes land, maybe they just hover. And that's good too. Quads on, tap, slow lower for four, three, two, one. Add momentum, rock the knees in, balance in your half boat or full boat, all right? Slowly lower down. Reverse curl, press into the hands, the fingers, the shoulders. Slow, controlled lower, turn the quads on, start to lower down, four, Three, two, one, gather momentum and balance up with bent knees or straight legs. One more time like that. Slow lower, press into the hands, peel the spine off, reverse curl. You could support the back if this feels like a good stretch for you. Tuck the knees into the chest. Try to straighten them out. Hands down, lower down for four, Three, turn the quads on, triceps on, two, one, gather momentum, peel up. Find your last V, hold, and then if you can, you can take this out to a straddle, grabbing onto any part of the legs. You can reach, feel the hamstrings, find some ease, the inner thighs growing good. Stretch the heart forward for four, three, two, one and release. All right, one more little hip flexor series. We'll take the hands down or fingertips down and then peel one leg over and back like you're knocking your feet together, apart, together, apart. And then start to flow this. <sighs> like you're doing a little can-can. Up and around, <sighs> up and around. <sighs> Good, four more. Three, take your time, two, and one. Now hold the legs in a straddle and sit up tall for me. Walk your hands to the middle, find a forward fold. Big breath in and out. Whatever that stretch is for you, find your edge and breathe into it. You might surprise yourself, we're pretty warm, so you might Feel like you can take it down a little bit lower than you typically can. Just see what that is for you. All right, standing up tall, we're just going to take the rib cage from side to side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We exhale on each one. Two, one. Rotate, dive forward, touch as far as you can over, call it the saw. Twist, extend. Drive it up, twist and reach, lift, twist, reach. Really challenge that flexibility as well. Exhale, drive it up, nice and tall. Few more, reach it over, squeeze it up, reach it over, squeeze it up. Back to the side body, touch your elbow to the mat if you can, or just hover down, 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 up, up, up. Side, challenge your edges, lift tall, take it down, squeeze it up, take it down, one more time like that, and hold it up. All right, last thing we're gonna do is a little crab series. So bring your feet together, take your fingertips, really this is up to you where you feel comfortable. Your hands could be back or they could be open to the sides of the mat. So we're gonna take the hips up, and then we're gonna try to shift the hips back. Hips up and back. If you're feeling really strong, we're gonna try to bring the hips 
behind the hands. It's quite hard. You need to round the shoulders forward, protract, scoop the belly in, and see if you can find some space. Oh, maybe your heels float up <laughs> to an L sit. Hips forward and up, squeeze the glutes. Back and through, forward and up, or just back to where you can get to. Have a seat, circle out the wrists. Take your right hand behind your head, and your left hand comes down. All right, so maybe four, six inches behind your booty. Straighten out this leg, we're gonna take knee to elbow, hover, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, you'll feel the abs too, two, hold up on one, grab the toe, see if you can extend and lift here, push the chest up, press the shoulder down, land, and flip that palm over, take the legs out, forward fold. All right, we're just gonna finish that other side. Nice deep breathing, heart rate might feel elevated, circle the wrists. All right, right hand behind the back, a little bit of waist from your body, bend the left knee, take the left hand behind the head, elbow wide, until we start to tap the knee, hover, the leg extends, and the hips lift, eight, seven, take your time, six, five, spread your fingers, Rip the mat, four, three, take a break if you need it, two, hold it up on one. Extend and grab the toes. See if you can lift the hips, lift the chest, find your biggest expansion of the pose, and lower down. Flip those palms upside down. Deep breathing. Take a straddle and one more forward fold here. Nice work. Shake out those wrists. We did, just did a bunch on the hands. All right. Circle. Shrug the shoulders a few times. We'll take a seated twist. Wrap one elbow and hook it across the thigh. Deep breath in and out. And then switch. Hook the elbow across the knees. Press into the back hand or fingertips. Lift tall. Rotate yourself around. Stay here because we're going to flip our bodies into down dog. So just flip under. Paddle into the feet, bending one knee at a time. Chest towards toes. Walk your hands in a little bit. Turn your fingertips slightly inward. We're gonna do uh, upside down push-ups or down dog push-ups for the shoulders. Head down and up, seven, Six, top of the head like you're gonna do a headstand, hovers. <sighs> Take breaks when you need it, elbows wide. Four, three, two, one. Walk it in, let your body hang in a forward fold. Shake the head again, maybe you circle or compress the back of the hand down into the mat. Big breath in and out. We're gonna walk forward to plank and finish this up. Walk 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 hit your plank from your plank let's get a nice stretch on the the chest swing the hips through ah. now scoop up through plank and back through down dog all right let's do that a few times think of a spinal wave happening roll swing the hips and heart through gaze up shoulders way down away from the ears Tuck the chin, scoop through plank, and keep going as you round the back to down dog. Round, lift, round, down, last one, tidal wave, upward facing dog. Tuck the chin, zip up, round, downward facing dog. Big breath in and out. Walk your feet in and then your hands in to meet. Just hang. Ragdoll your way up. Four, three, two, and one. We made it back to standing. All right. Take your right toes 
to the side of your mat and then shift your hips. We're going to take it down into a triangle, stacking shoulders, maybe hand to shin. Good. So both arms are going to extend as you peel this top hip open and hold and then pull back to center. Turn your toes the other way. Find your triangle. Knees are mostly straight. They can be a little bent. That's fine. Peel. We're really opening up, trying to stack everything. Good. Breathe here. When you feel like you can, expand both arms. Isometric hold. Stretch. And then power up your legs to come back. Halfway fold for four. Exhale. Three. Dip into the heels and then into the toes. Two. And one. One more twist. Right hand down, left arm up. Rotate the shoulders, maintaining neutral hips. And switch. Knees can be bent or you can prop up to fingertips. Lift the right shoulder. Keep the pelvis neutral. Twist. Trying to keep the square hips. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And let it go. All right. Red, doll it up. Circle anything. Give your body a little movement. Swing. Loosening up all that tightness and tension we've been holding onto. So just kind of shake it out. Like we did in the beginning. Bounce. Shake. All right. Nice work. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms to heart center. This time we'll flush the spine out like we're taking a bow. Up, out, up, and out. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, share this with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.